Queen's English, How to Teach Phonetics and Phonology. Of course, it's presented through EduDam, Tesula's platform, English language teaching professional of English language teaching professionals. And it is accredited by LISD, London Institute for uh, Skill Development, Skills Development. The course, actually, when I thought about this course, it's uh, first the Queen's English because it takes the British accent as it's uh, not only the British, the official British accent or what's called the Queen's English <coughs> as it's a starting point that we depend on in teaching phonetics and phonology. This is number one. So Queen's English refers to the official accent in England. And it was the most uh, prestigious accent all over the world when uh, English was taught in different uh, countries around the world. Uh, but after that, the American accent was introduced as well to go. Maybe they were in uh, rivalry together. But actually, the course is not dedicated to just an accent. But I tackle three points in this course. Number one, phonetics. And in what's the meaning of phonetics? What do you know about phonetics? Hmm. What's the meaning of phonetics? Who can tell me phonetics? What's the meaning of phonetics? Actually, in phonetics, we study how sounds are produced, how sounds are produced. So it's logical to start with phonetics, to teach the sounds of the English language. And as you know, in previous lectures, I talked about the difference, the great difference, the, the wide gap between pronunciation and spelling. So we don't depend on spelling in our pronunciation because we have 26 letters, but we have 44 sounds. So in pronunciation, we depend on the IPA or the International Phonetic Alphabet. We depend on this international phonetic alphabet in our pronunciation because we need something reliable to depend on that how this sound is produced. So I have a picture of the sounds I produce, not the letters I write, okay? Because we said that there is a big gap between them. There's a big gap between what's written and what is spoken. So the same letter may be pronounced in different ways and the same sound may be written in different ways okay so i cannot depend on this relation between sounds and letters so the first step is to study phonetics what about phonology how these sounds are combined together how these sounds have patterns okay how these sounds have groups together how they can affect each other in words phrases clauses and sentences, how I can read it, okay, how can I, how I can speak fluently. This is the job of phonetics. So in phonetics, we study things like stress, placement, okay, the pronunciation of stressed and unstressed syllables in words, what is called the sentence stress, the rhythm, the rhythmic units, the uh, assimilation, elision, uh, weakening, all these things are linking, all these things are studied in phonology, okay? So the course studies phonetics, phonology, and how to teach. Uh, this is something important because as a teacher, I do not only pronounce correctly. This is not enough for me to pronounce correctly. This is something good, but it's not enough for me as a teacher, as someone who wants to teach other, okay? I find that many teachers have problems with phonetics. They cannot pronounce correctly. Others can pronounce correctly, but they cannot justify this. They cannot say why is it pronounced like this. So of course, it's not enough for a teacher to pronounce correctly. Yes, this is the first step. And that's why I started with phonetics. In order to make you acquire the basics of phonetics and the basics of correct pronunciation. 
okay? Because this is the knowledge, okay? The basic knowledge. After this basic knowledge, you want to teach this, and this is also very important. You want to justify for how and why you are pronouncing like this. So if I pronounce it fast, fast, someone else pronounce it fast, fast, okay? I know that fast is correct, but is it correct to say fast? I don't know. But why fast is correct? Why fast is, is, is not correct? Actually, as a teacher, I should know that fast is correct because this is British accent. Fast is correct because this is American accent. The difference here is that the, this phoneme, R, R, the long vowel R in the British accent, in some words, in some words, it changes into A, A, A in the American accent. So fast, past would be fast, past in the American accent. Okay, how I can pronounce them, I would show the student how these are pronounced and I can correct his mistakes, okay? So this is another skill, how to teach it, how to train the student on differentiating between the P and the ba, the P and the ba. Okay, you can pronounce it correctly, but this is something else. You should, you should train your students or coach them on, pronou on correct pronunciation. So you should know these problems. And you should expect these problems. You should use certain techniques for doing this and be patient while doing this. Because some teachers mock the students and this is something dangerous. He's a student or a pupil, he's coming to you not to be mocked, but to be told. If he has a problem with pronunciation, you should know that this is expected problem for him as an Arab student, okay? Because in Arabic, we have common problems. Common problems means that it's, it's pro these problems are done or are uh, made by mo the majority of those who are learning English. Unless he knows well how to correct these problems. So it's not something natural for someone who, when, he, when he's told that pen, ben, pen, ben, pen, ben, that he said it correctly. He would make a mistake. This is, this is natural, okay? Because he doesn't have the sound in Arabic, okay? So as a teacher, I have, I should be familiar with these mistakes. I should be familiar with and expect these mistakes and know how to treat these mistakes, okay? So this is a, this is a great mission of the teacher, not just to pronounce correctly, okay? You are not pronouncing correctly and fluently and quickly in order to impress me, or it's, a, it's not a kind of showing off. Some teachers pronounce quickly, read quickly, but I cannot understand what you are doing. How, 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 how you are pronouncing this? Show me how you are pronouncing this, not show off, okay? It's not a matter of showing off. I need to know, you are here to teach me, okay? So this is a very important point for a teacher. The job of a teacher is not only to know something precisely, accurately, deeply, but also to know how to transfer this into others. You understand my point? Okay. So for a teacher, it's not enough to be familiar with grammar. Yes, of course, you should be familiar with grammar. You should understand grammar well. You should know the knowledge well. But at the same time, you should know the teaching methods of grammar, how you can teach grammar, how you can justify for this. This is correct. This is incorrect. Why? How can I know? Okay. So the job of the teacher actually is not only to know something. This is the first step. You must know something and know it very well. One of the problems of teaching phonetics and, and phonology at school or teaching correct pronunciation at school is that teachers are not good at pronunciation or they don't know the theoretical backgrounds of pronunciation and the difference between sounds and letters. So 
they don't they don't want to teach these things because they are not familiar with these things or they don't master these things so they think that they should avoid teaching pronunciation okay so this is a big problem okay because if i don't know this i would not focus on this on pronunciation okay so the first thing is to huh, to address this problem to make you familiar not only familiar to make you competent at phonetics and phonology in order to be able to teach this and to accept my teaching of the techniques for teaching this but teaching the techniques first if i teach you the techniques of teaching phonetics and phonology but you yourself cannot pronounce correctly okay so it would be useless it would be useless you understand my point so there would be a balance between the academic aspects the academic aspects the knowledge okay and the pedagogic the pedagogic actions the pedagogic aspects over the methodological aspects of teaching there would be a balance between them okay so what do we expect to study in this course learning objectives and session title the session title the first the first session is introduction to english phonetics and phonology introduction to english phonetics and phonology means that you are introduced to why and how we can study phonetics and phonology okay what are the objectives what are the objectives وده شيء مهم يا جماعه يعني الاوبجكتيفز دي مهمه جدا لو لو احنا نفهم الموضوع ده في كلياتنا وفي الجامعات عندنا هنرتاح كتير جدا لو كل لو كل درس كان ليه اوبجكتيفز حقيقيه ما تدخلش حط اوبجكتيفز غير قابله للتطبيق ومش هتحصل تمام تو تيتش ذا ستودنت هاو تو سبيك فلوينتلي كل ده هيحصل في حصه هتعلمه يتكلم فلوينتلي في حصه وازاي هتعلمه ايه الطرق اللي انت هتستخدمها عشان تعلمه لازم تكون الاوبجكتيفز انت قادر تحققها ويكون عندك الماتيريال اللي انت هتشتغل عليها تمام بحيث ان انا قبل ما اخد الكورس اكون عارف انا هعمل ايه في الكورس ده فشوف الاوبجكتيفز مثلا هنا في المحاضره الاولى ايه هي الاوبجكتيف ذا ليرنر ويل بي ايبل تو ديفرنشيت بين فوناتكس اند فونولوجي انا دلوقتي شرحت لك الفرق ما بين الفوناتكس والفونولوجي في في الكلام ده في طلبه لغايه ما بتخرج من الكليه وتساله يعني فوناتكس وفونولوجي يقول لك درس الاصوات الاثنين زي بعض يقول لك اه هم واحد مش عارف الفرق ما بينهم ده بعد ما اتخرج من الكليه مش عارف يعني فوناتكس ويعني ايه فونولوجي انا دلوقتي شرحت الفرق ما بين الفوناتكس والفونولوجي تمام The learner will be able to justify the significance of studying the phonetic alphabet. Why do we study the phonetic alphabet? The IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. Okay, why do we study the phonetic alphabet? Okay. Why the learner will be able to justify the significance of studying phonetic alphabet? The first important thing is to know why. Because some students or some learners or some trainees may ask a question. Why don't we depend on letters in our pronunciation? We have to win six letters. Why do we have another alphabet? So we should know that this alphabet is not enough. Okay. The learner will be able to explain the wide gap between orthographic and phonetic forms. Orthographic writing and phonetic forms hmm? the international phonetic alphabet the sounds the phonemes okay as we said the same sound the same sound may be written in different ways in different letters it's one sound but it may be written in different words and the same letter may be pronounced in different sounds okay the trainee will be able to the trainee will be able to distinguish between vowels and consonants both phonetically and phonologically both phonetically and phonologically so 
they are going to distinguish between vowels and the consonants because what the meaning of a vowel, what the meaning of a consonant, consonant vowels and vowels, uh, consonant uh, sounds and vowel sounds. How can you differentiate between them? This is very important to know the differences between them before starting study. After that, we're going to study, this is in the second session, short vowels. The trainee will be able to pronounce each vowel accurately. I'm not going to teach you, all of you, okay? عشان كده بقول ان ان هي دورة خاصة. يعني ايه دورة خاصة؟ الأول هي مش دورة هي تطبيق. عملية تطبيقية. أنا ما بحبش ان هي تكون دورة بمعنى ان هي course theoretical course. The theoretical course أنا شايف ان هو ما بيجيبش نتيجة. لابد ان كل واحد ينطق بنفسه ويتصحح له اخطاءه هو لان انت مهما سمعت اخطائك انت ممكن تحس انها ضاعت يعني مثلا انا بنطق لوحدي اهو تمام فلما بنطق لوحدي بحس ان انا بنطق صح انا شايف ان انا بنطق صح انا كويس انا مش شايف ان عندي اخطاء انا شايف كده انا شايف ان انا كويس نطقي كويس تمام خاصه لو نطقت في سرك بقى تحس كده انت نطقك يا سلام 100 100 مفيش اخطاء لكن انت لازم اخطائك انت اللي تتصحح وتعرف الخطا كان فين وازاي يتعد علشان ما تكرروش تاني ليه لان انت مش اول يوم تتعلم انجليزي النهارده ما انت عندك خلفيه كبيره والناس اللي بتدرس مثلا بتبقى ناس مدرسين وناس معاه ماجستير وفي ناس كانت معاها دكتوراه وكان بيدرسوا معايا الكورس فاللي بيدرس الكورس عنده خلفيه قويه عن اللغه الانجليزيه فعلشان تصحح له حاجه مش من السهل ان هو يصححها يدوس على دراء اولد شيفت يغير النط لا الموضوع مش بالسهوله دي تمام ففي اخطاء بقى لها سنين علشان تيجي تصححها عايزه وقت وعايزاه يكون مقتنع تماما بالطريقه الصحيحه للنطق بتاعها وازاي القطع بتاعه في كذا وهيعدله ازاي تمام علشان يجيب الصوت ده مظبوط لا هو كان بينطقه خطا تماما ولا كان بينطقه صوت ما بين ما بي يعني قريب من صوت تاني تمام فعلشان يميز ما بينهم ما بيعرفش يميز بيعملهم الصوتين صوت واحد تمام يعني في ناس مثلا تنطق صوت زي صوت ال اه وال اه ينطقهم زي بعض فيقول لك بن بن يا ابني بن اللي هي دبوس ولا بن اللي هو قلم اني واحد فيهم يعني فيقول لك اه بن اللي هي دبوس وفي بن اللي هي قلق. يبقى انت كده قلت لي ان الصوتين دول متواحد، انت شايف كده ان هم ايه؟ واحد، بس الفرق في ايه؟ في السبيلنج، لكن النطق انت شايف ان دي بن ودي بن. ايه اللي حصل؟ هو مش عارف يجيب الفرق ما بين الأه والإيه. الفرق اللي ما بينهم ايه؟ فرق بسيط جدا ودقيق جدا في المسافه اللي ما بين اللسان والايه؟ وال وال والالفيرا. لان ده فيري كلوز وده يعني اوبنر ذان ذات يعني المسافه بس عمليه اتساع للسان الفتحه الفتحه دي بس كده فتحه بسيطه ما بينهم ان ده اوبن والكلوزنس والاوبننس ما بينهم دقيقه جدا فاذا ما ادركش الفرق الدقيق ده عمره ما هيجيبها مهما تكرر قدامه عيد قدامه وسمعه 50 مره مش هيجيبها هو ما يعرفش هي جت ازاي تمام فانت لازم تكون فاهمها كويس عشان تدرب غيرك ايه عليها انا مش حاسسك تعتمد عليا بعد كده يعني انا عايزك بعد الكورس انت اللي تدرب غيرك مش تجيني كل شويه تسالني هو دي نطقها صح ولا غلط اصل فلان سمعته بينطقها كذا اصل المستر الفلاني قال كذا خلاص انت هتبقى انت حجه مش بترجع كل شويه الواحد تسمع له خلاص فديت الفكره الفكره ان انا بدربك انت تبقى مدرب To distinguish the nuances, nuances, اللي هي يعني slight differences between each vowel. And the differences between vowels are tricky. Okay, they are not that big. So some vowels, some vowels are actually mixed together. We cannot make these differences between them. So we should know the slight differences between them in order to. Pronounce them correctly and to teach others how to pronounce them correctly. 
explain these differences to students or other tra trainers and answer questions about how to produce each sound. يعني المتدرب نفسه يكون قادر على ان هو ايه يشرحها يوضحها يعني الفهم هنا فهم عميق تمام بحيث ان انا اقدر اشرحها لغيري مش مجرد ان انا نطقتها صح وكفايه عليا كده لا طب انت نطقتها كده ازاي طيب شوف كده النطق ده صح ولا غلط طب وضح لنا كده ازاي مثلا دي بن وبين ايه الفرق اللي ما بينهم اشرح لي كده الفرق اللي ما بينهم اه ده عايزه واحد يكون ايه راسخ في العلم يعني فاهمها ومستوعبها تماما مش مجرد ان انا عارفها وخلاص يا يا اخي كفايه قوي ان انا اتعطاها صح ده دي مرحله عظيمه لا ما يكفيش ما يكفيش لان انت حضرتك كمدرب او كتيتشر ما يكفيش انت تعرف الصح انا ما استفدتش حاجه كطالب او كتلميذ انا ما استفدتش حاجه لما انت عارف الصح بس مش عارف توصله لي او مش عارف تصحح لي انا ما استفدتش حاجه correct the mispronunciations of these vowels especially those produced by arab speakers and to correct the mistakes to correct the mistakes of mispronunciation يعني correct the mispronunciations يعني لو الاخطاء الشهيره والشائعه تكون قادر على انك انت تصححها فاذا سمعت مثلا واحد بيقول ايه pen pen اللي هو القلم سمعت واحد بيقولها بن 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 على طول هنا هتبدا تتكلم وتقول this is a mistake in the production of the p sound what is the cause of this mistake the cause of this mistake is that it's not found in arabic because in arabic we have the ba but in english we have p the voiceless p the aspirated p and the voiced ba okay so the student here pronounces the p as ba okay pronounced as ba because he Uh, has mother tongue interference. Mother tongue interference. Not the local language. The local language Arabic. Okay. Long vowels. Long vowels. After that, you study long vowels. Well, صراحة أنا هنا مقسمهم long vowels, short vowels. لكن في أثناء الشرح ما بنقسمهمش الشكل بالشكل بنفس الطريقة دي. يعني في أثناء الشرح بيبلنا تقسيمات تانية معتمدة على التقارب ما بين الأصوات. لأن في أصوات ال ال العلاقة ما بينهم مش علاقة long و short يعني ممكن يكونوا قريبين من بعض بس واحد long وواحد short بس قريبين من بعض وبنغلط فيهم للأسف فبنغلط فيهم وحنقول أسباب الخطأ تمام لكن بغض النظر عن هما long و short احنا بنميز ما بين long وما بين short تمام أثناء الشرح لكن مش لازم ناخد long سوا و short سوا يعني ممكن يكون في ايه short مع long و long مع short حسب تقاربهم The trainee will be able to differentiate between short and long vowels, both qualitatively and quantitatively. يعني إيه؟ يعني الناس بتفتكر إن long vowel and short vowel الفرق اللي ما بينهم إيه في الطول بس لا هتلاقي إن إحنا وإحنا بندرس إن في فرق تاني مش في الطول بس في quality كمان. يعني ال long e و short e long e و short e ال الفرق ما بينهم مش بس إن دي long ودي short لا ده في فرق في الكواليتي كمان. فده برضو لازم ناخد بالنا منه كناس متخصصه. Pronounce each vowel accurately. طبعا each long vowel should be pronounced accurately. Distinguish the nuances between each vowel. طبعا مش عشان خاطر هم long vowels يبقى لا هتلاقي ان الاختلافات ما بينهم كبيره جدا بالرغم ان هم كلهم long vowels مثلا. خلاص احنا عندنا five long vowels لكن ال five long vowels دول مختلفين تماما. بالرغم ان هم مشتركين في الايه في اللينث في الطول لكن في الكواليتي بتاعتهم مختلفين تماما explain these differences to students or other trainers and answer questions about how to produce each sound يعني القدره برضو على ان انا اكون اعرف ازاي اطلع الصوت ده واشرح ازاي اطلع الصوت ده correct the mispronunciations of those vowels especially those produced by arab speakers نفس الطريقه يعني انت تكون عندك القدره برضه انت ايه تصحح لغيرك مش مجرد انك انت بتنطق وخلاص وزي ما تيجي لان البعض بينطق صح بس لو سالته ليه ما يعرفش يعني يقول لك والله انا سمعتها كده يعني بس ما 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 اعرفش يعني سبب او مش سبب لا ما اعرفش انا بس انا بسمع بسمعهم بينطقوا كده لو سمعت حد بينطق كده 
طبعا ده مش كافي بعد كده بنخش مثلا على الديف ثونجس وبنقول ان الديف ثونجس also they are long vowels but they are compound vowel phonemes and we should differentiate between a diph thong and a long vowel diph thong and a long vowel دي عندنا فيها مشكله بصراحه لان في ناس كتير عندنا ما بيفرقوش ما بين اللونج فاول والديف ثونج فمثلا كلمه زي سيم سيم ينطقها سيم 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 ليه يا عم انت انطقها سيم ليه يقول لك اهو ما هو لونج فاول ده هو اللونج اي ايه اللونج اي دي ايه اللونج اي دي يقول لك مثلا سيم سيم كويس فيها الصوت اللي زي ايه زي سي سي اللي هي اس دبل اي لا ده سي سي فيها لونج فاول اي اي لكن سيم 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 فيها ايه ديف ثونج اي ده ديف ثونج اي يبقى الديف ثونج حاجه واللونج فاول حاجه ثانيه لازم انا اعرف الفرق ما بينهم questions about how to produce diff thongs correct the mispronunciations of these diff thongs البعض ما بيفرقش ما بعض الديف ثونجس ما بين بعض الديف ثونجس وبعضهم او ما بين بعض الديف ثونجس واللونج فاول في بعض الديف ثونجس مشهور ان هم بيتنطقوا غلط تمام فتلاقي مثلا كلمه زي هوم هوم دبليو اتش او ام وهوم هوم اللي هو المنزل تلاقي ناس بتنطقهم الاثنين زي بعض وكانهم ايه هوموفونز كان لهم نوم نفس الايه الصوت ليه هو مش عارف الفرق ما بين الديف ثونج واللونج فاول فمهما يسمعها هو بيجيبها زي ما ايه بيقربها يعني اقرب حاجه بعد كده بناخد ريفيو اوف انجلش فاوز وابيتس اي فيو بعد كده للكاتيجورايزيشن اوف كونسوننتس والكونسوننتس اسهل بكتير من الايه من الفاوز لان الكونسوننتس يعني الاول اشكالهم قريبه شويه من الاشكال بتاعه الحروف ففاميليار شويه لكن الفاوز الرموز بتاعتها غريبه شويه الكونسوننتس الفروق ما بينهم اوضح من الفروق ما بين الايه الفاوز الفروق ما بين الفاوز قلنا قبل كده ان هي تريكي شويه يعني تلخبط لكن الفروق ما بين الكونسوننتس بتبقى اوضح شويه تمام طبعا في بعض الكونسوننتس فيها بعض المشاكل ده طبعا بيتم توضيحه بالنسبه لنا احنا كعرب يعني في بعض المشاكل في الاصوات الكونسوننتس وفي بعضها بننطقه كويس فبنعدي عليها بسرعه تمام The trainee will be affricates nasals. British the sounds all are here. The affricates and nasals, the approximants, the consonant clusters, the consonants. We address them all. Of course, with the focus on the consonants that have problems or confused consonants. After that, we go to the phonology. The phonology we said was the patterns. How the sounds are mixed with each other, mixed with each other, and they make combinations or patterns. Okay. فهنا في الفونولوجي syllable and stress placement the syllable we study syllable and stress placement the trainee will be able to define syllables define stress pronounce stressed and unstressed syllables distinguish between stress bearing syllables and stress shifting ones يعني ازاي بحط الستريس ازاي آه القواعد اللي بتساعدني في تحديد المقطع اللي عليه ستريس والمقطع اللي ما عليهوش ستريس وازاي انطقه طبعا ده مهم جدا لان الستريس ديت هي اللي بتخلي الكلمه توضع والستريس يعني ايه؟ يعني مثلا عندك كلمه زي سانتنس 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 ساعات تسمع ناس تنطقها سانتنس سانتنس هنا حصل ايه؟ حصل خطا في الستريس يعني هو حطها في مكان غلط بدل ما يحطها في الاول حطها في الايه؟ في المقطع الثاني بدل ما يحطها في المقطع الاول حطها في المقطع الثاني فحصل خطا في الستريس بليسمنت فناتج عنده ميس برونسيشن تمام فبرضه لازم اكون عارف ايه سبب المشكله هل المشكله هنا في السيجمنتس اللي بنسميها سيجمنتال بروبلمز يعني مشكله في الفونيمز نفسها ولا سوبرا سيجمنتال بروبلمز اللي هي مشكله في الستريس او ما ما فوق الايه الفونيم يعني فلازم ان انا اكون عارف سبب المشكله عشان اعرف التشخيص واعرف العلاج بعد كده بقى اروح بقى لقضيه مهمه جدا اللي هي بريتش اكسنت ولا امريكان اكسنت وبريتش القصه دي باخد محاضره كامله بقى عن الفروق ما بين الامريكان اكسنت والبريتش اكسنت 
وهنا بفرق ما بين الاكسنت والدايركت ذا ديفرنس بين ان اكسنت اند ا دايركت ديستينجويش فاوز اند كونسونانس ان ان ذا امريكان اكسنت اند ان ذا بريتش اكسنت يعني بطلع خلي بالك الكونسوننت الفلاني ده بيتضع بالشكل الفلاني في البريتش لكن في الامريكان لا مختلف شويه الفاول ده مش موجود في الامريكان خالص لكن موجود في البريتش تمام الفاول ده موجود في الامريكان والبريتش بس بشروط في الامريكان بيبقى فيه كذا في بحيث ان انا كمان عشان خاطر ايه شو بص هنا بيقول لي ديستينجويش سام كونسوننتس ان بوث ديستينجويش سام كونسوننتس اند سام فاولز ها both receptively and productively what do you mean of receptively and productively in speaking and listening because i want you when you listen to identify this is american this is british accent yes this is correct but this is american this is british okay so i should also be familiar with this like انا ممكن انط بريتش بس بفهم الامريكان تمام وبفهم هو ليه بينط امريكان او يعني ليه هي صحيحه دي صحيحه بس في الامريكان خلاص لكن المش الموضوع مش مفتوح ان كل واحد بينطق غلط يقول لك اصل ده امريكا يتزنق شويه يقول لك لا ما انا نطقت دي بريتش يعني الموضوع مش مش مفتوح كده لايه لكل واحد يكت يعني يقول اي حاجه خلاص فلازم يكون في قواعد يا جماعه الموضوع ما هوش مفتوح كده يعني في قواعد في امريكان وفي بريتش وفي اكسنتس كتيره بس طبعا كل حاجه لها قواعد تمام Distinguish some suprasegmental features in two accents. Suprasegmental layer A, the stress with rhythm and the things. Bardo, I need to take note that in the American accent, for example, there are some words that are in the British accent. The stress on the first part in the American comes on the second part, or so on. Okay. So this Bardo, I need to understand. After that, I go to the rhythm and rhythmic units and sentences. ازاي بقى اقرا الريذم بقى ازاي اقرا مثلا جمله كامله او عباره هل كل مقطع هيتاخد زي الثاني واركز على كل مقطع يعني شو اي ديستينجويش ذيم اور شود اي فوكس اون ايتش سيلبل يعني وي وي فايند سام بيبل واي ذا ريدنج دي ساي اي هاف سبنت ا لونج تايم ان امريكا هي از ريدنج لايك ذس واتس هي دوينج هي از دوينج واتس كول سيلبل تايم Syllable time. Okay, and he gives each syllable the same time. But in English, no. In English, the English language is called it's stress timed. Stress timed. Stress timed means that we focus, we give more time to the stress syllable, to the stress syllable. Okay, so not all syllables are given the same time. Fluency. For fluency, we begin with assimilation and elision. We have examples of assimilation. We have examples of elision. Okay. How sounds affect each other? How sounds assimilation means that a sound affect another sound in order to change the features of one or both of them. Okay. And when I say this year, this year, it becomes this year, this year, this year. Okay. So here, sa uh, plus ya affect each other and becomes a third sound, which is the sha. So sounds affect each other when they are coming uh, in neighboring positions. They affect each other. So I should know how they can affect each other. Elision means a sound is deleted. Okay, a sound is deleted when some sounds come together. One of these sounds may be deleted, like friends. Okay, friends, friends, the da sound occurred between two consonants, so it is deleted, and so on. Linking means a sound which is not found is created in order to, is added, in order to link two vowels, in order to link two vowels. So this is called linking, weakening, weakening. Some of the vowels, some of the vowels, okay, in connected to speech, they change into Schwa or a weak vowel. Schwa or a weak vowel in connected speech. So this is called the weakening. So instead of saying and, I say an. John and me, John and me, not John and me. Okay, so the a changes into schwa in an. 
and the da is deleted because it's followed by a, a consonant. So it's an, Johnami, 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 Johnami. Okay. So this is also important in reading uh, fluently and in speaking fluently. After that, we study strategies and techniques for teaching pronunciation. Now we are familiar with all the aspects of pronunciation, but we can use some techniques and some processes that help us in teaching uh, pronunciation. Okay. And what is the significance of teaching pronunciation? Why do we marginalize pronunciation? Uh, what are the different strategies and techniques for that can help me in teaching uh, pronunciation? After that, the trainee will be able to read passages with accurate pronunciation and enunciation. Here, this is the last part. After finishing all these things, you are going to apply all what you have studied in this course on real passages, okay? So you are going to read these passages. You are going to read these passages, applying all Huh? What we have studied, starting from the phonemes till the fluency markers, and you can justify for this. So when you pronounce it, why did you pronounce it like this? Where is the stress here? Okay, where is the stress here? It's on the second syllable. Why? Because it's so and so. Why? It's on the first syllable. No, why? Why do you pronounce it like this? Why did you delete this sound? Okay. Why did you add a vowel here? Because this is linking between these two vowels. Okay. You understand my point? So here, at this stage, you are not going to apply something theoretically. No, you are going to apply it practically. Okay. زي الطبيب كده يعني دلوقتي انت خلصت كليه الطب ما شاء الله عليك وممتاز اهو تعال مش هتسمع تعال ادي مريض قدامك وادي تعال شخص الحاله ها وقول لي العلاج بتاعه ايه عرفت يبقى مش صدفه عرفت وقدرت انت تشخص الحاله والخطوات بتاعه تشخيص الحاله 1 2 3 تمام وفهمت انت اعتمدت عليه عشان تشخص الحاله دي بانها كده مش مجرد انت تقرا وخلاص تمام او مجرد انت تشخص وخلاص لا انت شخصتها كده ليه؟ اعتمدت على ايه؟ ما ينفعش بقى تقول اعتمدت على احساسي او والله ده شعور داخلي او دي موهبه لا ما ينفعش لان ده ساينس دي ساينتفيك ستادي ساينتفيك ستادي يعني ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور يور تايم اند فور يور اتنتف ليسن this is an exercise that is studied at the end of the course, at the end of the course, in which you can read this passage or you are asked to read this passage and to be able to justify your pronunciation, okay? For example, <clears throat> an historic cleanup at the pyramids, at the pyramids, Okay, and it's very clean about the pyramids. Here, we don't read each syllable, but we read it fluently by focusing on stressed syllables. And it's very clean about the pyramids. For millennia, this word it wonders wild visitors, as wild visitors. Okay. But the coronavirus kill off, killed off Egypt's tourism and with it, the livelihoods of millions. For millennia, this worded wonder has wowed visitors, has wowed visitors, okay? Of course here, you no, not only pronounce, but you would be able to answer my questions, okay, on how you pronounce these words, what, which sound is found here. Okay, but coronavirus kill off, killed off Egypt's tourism and with it, the livelihoods of millions. Like Ashraf, unable to feed his family, he kept his, 
He kept his. He kept his favorite camel, but had to sell two others. Two others. Okay. Who can read it? Who can read it? Okay. We're going just to practice together. Who can volunteer? Please raise your hand if you want to try. Just trying. 